chapter 27, Acts chapter 27, amen. If you be kind enough to stand um, from the 30 or 40, of 40, let me see. All right, all right. The 40, 40th verse, 40th verse. Everybody get the 40th verse. Uh, uh, let's say 39th verse. And uh, you got it? 39th verse, let's read it together. And when they went, it was day. But they certain creeks with shore unto which they were. And when they had taken up the anchors, they committed themselves unto the sea, and loosing the brothers' band, and hoisting up the mainsail to the wind, and made to the shore, falling into a place where the two seas met, they ran the ship aground, and the forepart stuck fast and remained unmovable, for the hinder part was take, was broken with the sea. And the soldiers' counsel was to kill the prisoners, lest any of them should swim out and escape. But the centurion, willing to save Paul, kept them from their purpose and demanded that they which could swim should cast themselves first into the sea and get to land. And the rest, some on boards, and some on broken pieces of the ship. And the Lord. All right. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you and we glorify you for this word. We ask God that you look on us, Lord. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Rebuke the adversary. Oh God, we thank you and we glorify you now. Jesus, help us in this place. The Lord, anoint us for your name's sake in the name of Jesus. Have thy way, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless us according to your word. We'll give you glory. We'll give you praise. We'll lift you up in this place. Hallelujah. Do it now, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. Put your hands together and give him praise. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Our scripture uh, lesson uh, this morning is one that we, um, I was trying to avoid it, but Seems as this, this is what the Lord was trying to get to me to see. Uh, the 41st verse says, And fallen into a place where two seas met, they ran the ship aground, and the fourth part stuck fast and remained unmovable, but the hinder part was broken with the violence of the waves. Now, um, this scripture is so, meant so much to me, and him the part was broken with the violence of the way of the waves. Um, I would like to explain this to you just a little bit, and then we will go into what the Lord has uh, uh, said to me. I want you to grab somebody's hand, look them dead in the face. Praise the Lord, don't look around, look them in the eyes, see. See what their eyes are saying. Hallelujah. Look them in the eyes and say, I was broken, but not destroyed. Hallelujah. Oh, 
And the Bible says, praise the Lord, that here Paul uh, gets on this ship, headed for Rome. He has a, a, a long ways to go. He has two or three stops to make before he gets to Rome, praise the Lord. And the first stop they went, they could stop into Crete. This is where, praise the Lord, the ship was under a cyclone. And Paul told them, it, winter is near. So let's stay here in Crete until the winter is over. But the soldiers thought that Paul wanted some time for himself, so they decided to push on. And in the midst of it all, when they left Crete, headed towards Rome, praise the Lord, here comes a cyclone. The cyclone is a storm that is full of war, full of wind, praise the Lord, and rain and all kinds of stuff that will be a hinder to your, uh, to your travel. And so, praise the Lord, here they under this uh, traveling van and, uh, hallelujah, the, this, the, the, the cyclone gets, would not allow the ship to smooth, the sail smoothly. In the midst of all of this, praise the Lord, hallelujah, the lights uh, of heaven went out. The lights of heaven is the stars in the heaven. The stars went out. Praise the Lord. The sun stopped shining because of the cloud covering the sun and would not allow the sun to go through. So the Bible said, hallelujah, there was at least 14 nights and days without the sun shining, without the lights of heaven coming on them. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said, when all hope was gone, they had lost all their hope of being alive, uh, found. So the Bible said, praise the Lord. Paul said unto them early one morning, he got up, hallelujah, and he called the group together and he told them, he said, uh, last night there was an angel that stood with me. And he told me that all souls on the ship is going to be saved. And they all are in my hand. And he's going to bring us to shore. He said, now y'all been fasting for 14 days. I want you to take some bread and some meat. And I want you to eat and get your strength back. So the Bible said, praise the Lord. They took the bread. They ate the bread. And they ate the meat. And some of them started feeling a little bit better. And all of a sudden, praise the Lord, there was another cyclone hit that boat. Hallelujah. And, and all of a sudden, even what they thought they had uh, was, was going to make it. Hallelujah. It seems as though that the hope disappeared into the night air. And the Bible said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They took all of the tackles that was on the boat and threw them overboard. They took all of the meat and the flour hallelujah, and the grain they had on the boat and threw it over. They lightened the ship, but the, but the condition was still there. Praise the Lord. You can get rid of conditions. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, you can get rid of your problems, your weight and stuff, but the conditions is still there. Hallelujah. I still have a problem here. Praise the Lord. I've done what I was told to do. I act the way I should have acted, but my problem is still there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God, hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. And all of a sudden, God, a light, a light up somewhere or another in the heaven. And they looked out across the ocean and they said, look, praise the Lord. We are deeming, hallelujah. The word deeming means I'm, I'm nearing, I'm sensing that there is a city somewhere or another around here. Hallelujah. And they deemed that they there was a city there, hallelujah. And so, praise the Lord, they, they took, they took the, uh, the, the rudders that they had on the ship and they let it drift, praise the Lord. And as the, as the, as the ship began to drift, hallelujah, it was near where two seas 
came together. Praise the Lord. And where and and in the midst of those seas coming together, there were rocks there. Hallelujah. So the front part of the ship jammed itself in the in the rocks. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, those uh, those seas that was coming together got rougher and rougher. The forces of hell as coming against you, praise the Lord, is getting rougher and rougher. Hallelujah. Grab somebody hand and tell them, but that's all right. God said we're going to be saved. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They got rougher and rougher. The sea that's coming together, meaning praise the Lord, conditions and situations and people of different origin and folk of different kinds, hallelujah, and situations from everywhere praise the Lord, is coming at you because you say, because you're sanctified, because you're filled with the spirit of the Lord hallelujah, the devil is not concerned about you but he's concerned about what you on the inside of you. Praise the Lord. We know that they're going to be a deliverer soon or later. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. And the Bible said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As, 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 as these uh, uh, forces came together, hallelujah, it broke the rudder. It broke the hinder part of the ship. When it broke the hinder part of the ship, the boards that were holding the ship together started falling off. Praise the Lord. Now it is time for a man of God to stand come forth. Somebody praise the Lord who had been with God. But I'm facing death. Death is in front of me. And I don't know what to do next. Praise the Lord. But I know we got a man of God on board who have been walking and talking with the Lord. Hallelujah. Who has been in the presence of the Lord in the midst of our trouble Lord have mercy and I want y'all to know praise the Lord as Paul stood up in the midst of them and he said brethren praise the Lord I want you to be of good courage the Lord showed me hallelujah that he's going to bring us to shore he said look here now you that can swim praise the Lord I want you to jump over jump overboard you that can swim, you that, hallelujah, that knows how to paddle water, you that knows how to get through here, praise the Lord, if you can stand up for yourself, stand up for yourself, if you know who in whom you believe, stand on your conviction, praise the Lord, if you know that God is able, praise the Lord, in the midst of this wicked and, and praise the Lord, adulterous nation, stand up and tell, hallelujah, the devil, huh, that I know in whom I believe, huh, and I am persuaded that he's able, huh, hallelujah, to keep that which I've committed unto his trust. Huh. Lord have mercy. Huh. God, I feel like preaching in this house. Huh. Grab somebody hand, praise the Lord, huh, and tell him I've been broken, huh, but not destroyed. Huh. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Huh. We're coming to an end. Huh. We're coming to a place, hallelujah. Huh. Where are we going to get crushed? And I heard Paul said, look at here. I tell you what y'all do. You that can't swim, grab hold to a piece of board. Because God said, hallelujah, he's going to bring us out. And I believe what the Lord said. If you can't grab a whole board, grab hold to a piece of board. Grab hold to a chip. Grab hold to something that belongs to the boat. Lord have mercy. And I heard Paul said, look at here. We're going to get off of here. We're going to make it. So the Bible said, praise the Lord. Those that couldn't grab hold to a whole board, they grab hold to a piece of board. Those that couldn't get a piece of board, they grab a hold to a split off the board. Hallelujah. I'm treasure board. You can't go down with a piece of the board. You can't go down, because huh? God is going to keep the boat alive. Huh? Lord, have mercy. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? I don't know about y'all, praise the Lord. Huh? But as long as you stay, huh? 
connected to this here, you can't go down. You can't lose your life. If you hold on to this, heaven is yours. Grab somebody's hand and tell them heaven is mine. I don't understand, but I got to go. I got to go to heaven. Praise the Lord. I dare you, yeah. I got demons everywhere. I got spirits that troubling me. But God said, wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. And they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God Almighty, I feel like preaching. The devil is a liar. Grab somebody's hand and say, neighbor, I've been broken. But I I'm still here. Lord have mercy. The devil, hallelujah. I got disconnected. Hallelujah. Sometime while walking this Christian journey, you will get connected. You will get disconnected from your praise. But hang in there. Sometime you get this disconnected from your testimony. But hang in there. Sometime you'll get disconnected from your family. But hang in there. God will not destroy you. Come on. Lord have mercy. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Even your prayer life. Sometimes you pray. And your prayers will hit you back in the face. They don't seem to go nowhere. I prayed and I came to through. I cried. Grab some other hand and tell them the scripture says, they that wait on Just grab somebody's hand. 
Let's go! <laughs> 